Okay, we're going to make a TV antenna for the new digital signals. I have a few facts and figures here that I could probably zoom in on, but I'll put that down in the description. This will be the parts that we need. Some number 10 solid copper wire, some PVC fittings. I'll write those down so you know how many to get of each kind. And a little bit of glue, some tools. We need a piece of PVC, half inch, schedule 40. A 10 foot piece of EMT, three quarter inch. And a piece of rebar. I got a four foot piece of rebar here that uh, I'll be using. So. We'll get started. I'll show you how to do that. First thing we got to do is cut the elements from the solid copper wire. All right. Have fun. Okay, we're going to need 16 pieces at 16 and a quarter inch. We're going to mark that. And then we'll cut them up. 16 pieces. Okay, I had a 25-foot piece and a 4-foot piece left over, so about 21 feet. Um, so I got a little extra for another project. Um, all we got to do now is bend them in a V-shape uh, right in half. So I got to find center, mark them, and then cut them, uh, bend them in a V. Okay, you want to take these and... Uh, Straighten them out a little bit so that they're nice and straight while you have them out and then mark your center and then we're going to go ahead and bend them all up just like that. Okay, we want to set the opening on this to five and seven sixteenths, five and a half. Pretty close. That's how you set the angle. Right about there. Do that to all of them. Okay, we'll do a little dry fitting first. Also, a uh, piece of sandpaper or anything. Get rid of the rough edges. Whatever you want to use. Looks pretty good. Just clean it up a little. the dry fit make sure everything fits good we'll have basic setup like that I right, put the measurements on the tubes you have four 11 and a half you have two of the seven and three quarter okay we laid this out for the copper we're gonna have two runners these are gonna be soldered together 
I'm going to chop them off up here at 20 inches. And then we'll get the solder in them together so they're tied together. That's all we got to do. Okay, got one soldered together. Need to do four of these. Soldered both sides. After I made the first one, I put some marks on the table so that I know where these go. And they're marked pretty lightly, but they're on there. I know you can't see them. Then I had a straight line up here, and I marked where each one of these were on that first one. So now all of them are going to be exactly the same as that first one. And you can see i got a couple done there. So they'll be nice and similar. Okay, each of these uh, V's set here. About six and a half in between. This, this one's at 13 and a half, the other one's at 20. So, just as so there's uh, approximately that spacing. This is somewhere around an inch. Doesn't have to be perfect, just pretty close. The big thing is the length of these and the opening. So, that's the critical part. There they are. There's a stack of them. Look pretty good. Had to cut five nine inch pieces. These will go in here on the corners. For supports for the reflector. So, five of those. Okay, I got them all mounted. There's little spacers. With tie wraps just holding them in place temporarily on the PVC pipe and then I'm gonna lay it upside down nice and flat and epoxy them so just little spacers little half inch spacers to keep them separated all the way up and then zip tied into place for right now that's it Okay, I'm just going to mix up some epoxy and put some epoxy down there. Want to get a first coat on here for tonight. I'll probably have a couple of coats on here till I'm happy with where it's at. Just gotta hold it for heavy winds and things like that. So for right now, get it started, get it on there. Okay, I'll try to give you a close up of the epoxy zip ties 
see if that helps nothing to it just throw some epoxy on there and make sure it's stuck to the PVC that's it okay you're gonna need a impedance matching transformer from 300 ohm to 75 cable and a couple pieces of uh, 300 ohm twin lead antenna cable the antenna wire I'm going to take the two from the 300 ohm and hook them in here and solder them one from that side one to the other side and uh, patched into the impedance matching transformer so we're going to do that now and that's going to be our electrical connections for our signal <laughs> 